Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics, and man, I am excited because we are coming back with affordable auctions all throughout the month of November, starting with number 11. That's right, it's been almost two years since I've done an affordable auction, but I'm coming back with number 11 all throughout the month of November. We're coming with keys, we're coming with some slabs, we're coming with some Funko Pops, some toys, and probably even some original art, all right? And actually, this video I'm gonna show in potentially what may end up in those affordable auctions throughout the month of November. The reason why I say potentially is because I got so much to choose from, you guys, that I don't even really know where to start. So I'm just showing you guys what I'm pretty sure may end up being in the, in the affordable auction this November. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start out with books that I picked up from new comic book day wednesday today and i only picked up two books this was one of them tales from the dark multiverse batman nightfall i don't really know what this is about i'm a big fan of asriel i'm thinking that this may consist of asriel within the storyline i could be wrong i don't know but i saw the cover art and it's just it fits what i enjoy observing what i enjoy looking at and reading so i went ahead and I picked it up and then the only other book that i picked up this week from new comic book day wednesday was uh the marked by image comics issue number one they had some really cool covers i think there was like two or three other covers that they had with this title uh but i just went ahead went ahead with the uh number one the a cover and uh, i will probably read this and see what this is all about and uh, that's it. That's all that I picked up for New Comic Book Day Wednesday today. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into what will probably end up being auctioned off in the affordable auction starting November the 3rd, okay? Uh, first, we're going to go with this right here. Uh, I am going to be parting from this. This is the only raw copy that I have. I have a, a slab copy, but I personally got that signed by Todd McFarlane and Stan Lee at Fan Expo Dallas, I think in 20, 2015 or 2016. And uh, that's kind of like one of my personal grails, so I'm going to keep that. But this right here, I think that I'm willing to part with. So this will probably end up in the affordable auction starting November the 3rd. Also, I'm going to be doing auctioning uh, this off as well. Uh, this is really high grade. Um, also, this is really high grade. This is somewhere in the nines. I'm thinking more like around a 9092, but still high grade uh, key issue. Uh, first Venom cover appearance, Amazing Spider-Man 316. This also is in really high grade. This is at least, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like a 96. All right. Uh, also, we will be running with this right here. Newsstand copy. Uh, I mean, do I really need to explain what these books are? I think that everybody pretty much knows what these books are. This is the uh, Incredible Hulk 340 iconic, famous Todd McFarlane cover. Killer, killer cover artwork right here, you guys. Uh, this also is in very high grade. I think this is at least a 9.4, okay? Uh, also, we will be doing this right here. Uh, first appearance of Deathlock, uh, Astonishing Tales, number 25. This is not only the first appearance of Deathlock, but this is also uh, the very first published George Perez artwork. How do you love that? Kind of a double whammy uh, for this key issue. Okay, this is in... Uh, I can't remember what grade this is. I want to say this is like at least a VF, VF plus, at least. Somewhere around there. It's really nice high grade from a book from the, uh, what is it, mid-70s. So we have that. Uh, also, let's go ahead and set these to the side because I'm getting ready to go through a whole bunch of uh, X-Men. Uh, early X-Men. Uh, starting with issue number 100, everybody. This is, uh, you know, first time that the old and new team kind of clash with each other. And this is a, uh, this, I think this is kind of a key, right? 100th issue, early, early appearance of the new team. Maybe Wolverine's like, what, 6th, 7th appearance, something like that. Uh, we're going to be rolling with that. We're also going to be rolling with this right here. Um, and also, this is like in, uh, that's like a fine plus VF copy. Uh, we're going to be rolling with this right here. This is like a uh, VF to VF plus copy, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're going to be auctioning this off 
in the in the month of November, starting November the third, which is a Sunday. Uh, we also have this right here, uh, X Men number ninety five. Now this is definitely like what the third appearance of the new team. So we're going to be auctioning this off. This is like a uh, fine plus VF copy, but still key book, right? Affordable auction. That's what it's all about. Uh, then we're going to be doing this right here. Uh, X-Men 64. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is this. I think it's the first appearance of Sunfire, uh, the Japanese mutant. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that this is his first appearance. So we have that. Uh, we also have X-Men number 60. This is the first appearance of, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Sar Sauron, Siron, Sauron, the uh, mutant, kind of like the ter was it like a pterodactyl or something like that. Um, we have that. This is like in a, uh, I don't know, like a VG plus fine copy, something like that. It's more like a mid grade, but it's a key first appearance. We also have this right here, uh, X Men number fifty five. I can't remember. I can't remember what key what first appearance this is I, I think it's the first appearance of is it is it havoc i can't remember you guys but i have that this is in like a vg plus fine copy and then i also have this right here number 50 which we will be auctioning off as well um what else do we have here let me set let me set these down i got so much you guys i got so freaking much uh we got uh x-men number 37 right silver age all right we're getting in the silver age right uh number 37 don't i can't remember if this is a key or not i just got it because i am a fan of the x-men and i was trying to collect these early early silver age x-men titles uh we also have x-men number 18 all right so we're getting a little lower in number here X-Men number 18, and, uh, you know, these are kind of like in, like, I don't know, VG plus, maybe fine condition. Um, they're, they, yeah, I mean, maybe like VG plus. They're, they're, they're definitely like reader copies. They're nothing that you would really want to get slabbed unless you just want to do that. Uh, then I also have X-Men number 17. Oh, I already read these. Uh, spoiler alert, that shadow, that's Magneto right there. Uh trying to get at the x-men um really good read by the way and uh got number 17 right here this again is like a vg plus copy uh all these issues you know they're attached to the staple there's nothing like detached no torn or missing pages or anything like that everything is complete uh this right here is number 16 i think this is the uh first appearance is it is it master master mold uh Ma the this guy right here um first appearance of him and we also have uh x-men number 14 this is the first appearance of the sentinels right and uh yeah didn't really want to get rid of this but but me personally i'm a, i'm a huge fan of the sentinels I, i'm looking for a higher grade so i'm willing to part with this for now so we have that and then last but not least we got number 13 which is uh second full appearance of the juggernaut so that's just a taste, you guys, of what we will be auctioning off starting November the 3rd and every Sunday throughout the month of November, building up to the second annual comic book community charity auction for the Hero Initiative. You guys are not going to want to miss this. Like I said, this is just a taste. I have access to so much and believe me i will be trying to get the best since we only have a short amount of time to auction off these books in the month of november if things go good maybe i'll do it twice a week i'm not really sure but as is now sundays here on strictly comics all throughout the month of november we're bringing back the affordable auctions starting with number 11 don't miss it please make sure you like and share comment subscribe all that fun stuff and check me out over on instagram as i will also be posting and promoting over there on instagram at strictly comics as always keep god first in your life and enjoy your comic books though until then everybody we'll see you next time peace